What's good everyone, Hanky is finally back for the first time in a few months. Today we are testing a bunch of stuff that has to do with everyone's favorite DLC character, Byleth. Let's begin. Byleth can wall jump infinitely with her up special. Smashed. Byleth's up special has a limitation where she can only wall jump or grab the ledge three times each. I could see why they put this in place, because if there was no limitation here, she could just camp at the ledge forever after she gets the lead, and it would be very hard to hit her out of her recovery or wall jump. Byleth's down special has super armor for the entire move. Smashed. Sometimes people use Byleth's down special expecting it to tank everything that hits them during the animation. However, the super armor is only active when Byleth is releasing the move, not when she's charging it up. Phalanaut can transcend through people and shields. Smashed. This move tends to look a lot stronger than it actually is. I mean, it's practically a beam of light, right? So one would think that it could pass through shields, but it actually stops whenever it makes contact with something. Byleth can hit someone with her up special immediately after grabbing them. Confirmed. Most grabs have something called a grab timer after them. This means that when someone is grabbed, they can't get hit by another grabbing move for about a second. However, although Byleth's up special seems to grab the opponent, it is not affected by the grab timer, and I'm really not sure why this is the case. Byleth can grab items with her up special. Smashed. Joker could grab all sorts of things, such as assist trophies and Pokemon, but Byleth cannot. The only justification I can see for this is that there's a key difference in how these moves work. When Joker grabs the opponent with his grounded up special, he pulls him towards himself. When Byleth grabs the opponent with her up special, she actually pulls herself towards them. Since items don't weigh as much as characters, it wouldn't make sense for Byleth to be able to propel herself toward them. Byleth's up special has more range than Joker's. Smashed. The more I compare these two moves, the more I realize that they're actually very different from each other. Joker's up special has just a little bit more range than Byleth's, although it's barely noticeable when they're using it to grab people or recover. Byleth deals more damage with her down special when she turns around. Smashed. I assumed this would be the case because it applies to all of the extremely powerful special moves such as Falcon Punch, Warlock Punch, and whatever Meat Brawler's kick is called. However, it doesn't apply to Byleth's down special and there's one reason I can think of for this. With the other moves I mentioned, it takes more time for the hitbox to come out when they reverse it, but Byleth doesn't lose any speed when reversing her down special, so it wouldn't make sense for her to gain any power from reversing it if she doesn't lose any time. Byleth's fully charged down special Smash deals more damage than her down special. Confirmed. Most down smashes are known for being weaker but faster versions of forward smashes. However, Byleth's fully charged down smash is actually her most powerful move, dealing more damage than not only her forward smash but also her fully charged bow and down special. The initial hitbox on Byleth's up special has set knockback. Confirmed. Not only does it have set knockback, however, it is a very weird pattern which I haven't seen in any other hitbox before. The opponent flies away with a lot of momentum and then stops instantly when they reach their destination. It actually changes the momentum of the knockback, and I haven't seen anything like it until now. Villager can pocket Byleth's arrow.
He can pocket the regular version, but not the fully charged version. This is yet another case that shows how fully charged Failnot can't be influenced by anything else like the normal arrows can. The beam of light seems to be the only projectile that can be reflected but not pocketed. Byleth's side special has more range than Richter's forward smash. Confirmed. It just barely has more range, you have to line it up just right. The difference in length comes from the fact that although Richter's whip is longer than Byleth's lance, Byleth really leans into her attack while Richter just kinda stands there. The back hit of Byleth's down smash does more damage than the front hit. Smashed. This is true for many characters, but not Byleth. Usually, if the back hit is stronger than the front hit, it's because the back hit is harder to land than the front hit. For example, since the back hit of Mars Down Smash comes out especially slow, it does much more damage. However, the front hit of Byleth's Down Smash is already slower and powerful, so the devs just made the front and back hits equally powerful. Byleth can use her up special to escape from a black hole. Confirmed. Remember when I said that Byleth brings herself to the opponent instead of the opponent to herself while using this move? That's exactly what's happening here. And during this process, she can't be influenced by anything like the forces of a black hole. So she is able to escape if there's someone in the right spot above her. King DDD can inhale Byleth's fully charged bow. Smashed. This one actually makes some sense because an arrow is a physical, solid object that you can manipulate. You can't really do anything to the beam of light because it's energy and not a solid. I already tested it with Rosalina's little absorb down special, but it doesn't work for that one either. Byleth's up special will grab the ledge even when you're facing away from it. Confirmed. When we all heard that Byleth's up special could spike the opponent, I'm sure we all tried to go off stage and use it to spike someone, only to realize that this move will always grab ledge if it's in range. As far as I know, it's the only tether that works while facing backwards. Ness and Lucas can absorb Byleth's fully charged bow. Confirmed. Remember how I said that the beam of light is energy? Knowing this, it would make sense that Ness and Lucas could absorb it with their down specials, but it was still worth testing because the pocket and suck didn't work on it. Two Byleth down specials will trade. So here's what happened. Both Byleths have super armor while they're releasing the move, but there's a weak hitbox that comes after the strong one. When this weak hitbox connects, neither of them have super armor anymore, so they both get launched up slightly. And finally, Byleth has the strongest forward smash out of all the Fire Emblem characters. Smashed. I didn't test Lucina and Krom because we know that their forward smashes are weaker than Marth's and Roy's respectively. All of the Fire Emblem characters have strong forward smashes, but Ike's does the most damage and kills the earliest, despite not having a tipper or a hilt mechanic like most of the others. 
That's the end of the myths, but before I officially end this video, I want to mention that my friends at Armada are teaming up with CLX to give away a custom gaming PC, so if you want to enter that giveaway, there's a link in the description. Also, I know it's been months since my last upload, but I'm really busy with college right now. However, I should have a lot more time to make content this summer after I'm finished with my spring semester classes. Thank you all for watching, as always, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.